Hi friends, I'm Nancy Jacobs from Embroidery It at EmbroideryIt.com and today I want to talk to you about creating freestanding lace designs. Now here's a couple of examples of some of my designs here. This one is Be My Valentine. It's a little freestanding lace bookmark. This one is an alphabet set I'm getting ready to release called Little Charmers. And these, this is thread. This is that there is no fabric here. This all this is all thread. And the way these are created is they're stitched on water soluble stabilizer. And when the stabilizer is dissolved in the water, the design remains. How cool is that? Now, you do need to know not all designs are intended to be freestanding lace. So don't think you can just go and pull your embroidery designs off your computer willy-nilly if they don't say freestanding lace or FSL is the abbreviation for it. So watch for those two things. If it doesn't say that, it's not designed to, to mesh up and to hold its shape like a freestanding lace design actually is. So now you know what it is. Let's talk about how we go about creating it. And what you need is water-soluble stabilizer. This first one I have is my personal favorite. It's a mesh type. It's heavier. I'm going to put it up close to the computer so you can see it there. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. This is heavy. It's a mesh type. This happens to be from Pellon. It's their a wash and gone stabilizer, wash and gone embroidery. Um, uh, stabilizer and it's it's heavy it doesn't tear and this is made with a cornstarch base to it another type is a film type this one is super solve by solvi or excuse me by sulky <laughs> and this is actually a pretty good one it's 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 tough it does not tear easily but when you're putting a, it's still a film type, and so when you're putting a lot of needle penetrations through it to make a freestanding lace design, uh, it it will tear. So the mesh type is definitely my preference. Here is another example of a film type. This is this is even thinner yet. You can just really hear how crinkly this wash away stabilizer is. This one tears easily. I mean, it just it just rips. And so when you put all those needle penetrations through as it's stitching the design out, it's it's gonna just shred and it'll be a mess. Don't even don't even go there. Don't try it. Try the mesh type. Um, Silky Baby Lock Floriani. Everybody has their own mesh type of stabilizer. Buy a yard of different ones. Try them and see which one you like best. So another thing too is if you get your stabilizers kind of mixed up, I try to keep mine sorted, but every now and then they do kind of get in a pile. You can just lick your finger and put it on the corner and pretty soon it will start to become gummy and tacky and it's like you'll know it's like, oh, this one is a wash away stabilizer. So you can, you can check it out if you get confused on oh I forgot what what type of stabilizer is this you know, just do the the spit test <laughs> and see if that works all right so what you're going to do is you are going to hoop your water soluble stabilizer just like you would hoop fabric okay so you're gonna hoop it nice and taut then that's it that is it you've got your design in your machine You've got your stabilizer hook, hooped. You're just going to put your embroidery hoop into the machine and let the design stitch on the stabilizer. Just like, just pretend the stabilizer's fabric. It's that simple. Once the design has stitched out, I made an in for Nancy. We're going to unhoop it. And then what I like to do is cut away fairly close to the design and the only reason is I just don't want a lot of the stabilizer going down the drain. You could um, 
put it in a little bucket and dump it out the back door or something. Uh, but typically I just, I, I trim it close and then I just rinse it out of the kitchen, kitchen sink. But today I have just a little bowl of water and I'm going to lower the computer so you can see here. And we'll just put it in the water and it only takes a moment for it to dissolve here. You can kind of swish it around. Now, I will tell you that the manufacturers, all you can read the directions on all the different types of stabilizer, but honestly, they all operate the same. You can see here that stabilizer just, just boy, that just pulled right off there, off the edge. And you can swish it around a little bit more. The, anyway, going back to the manufacturers will have their own directions. They all, um, it, it all operates the same way. Uh, some will say, oh, you should rinse it out in warm water, and some say cool water. It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Okay, the stabilizer is washed out of that. Now, you don't want to wring your design out, but it's helpful to dry it a little bit. And so I will take a towel, and I'll just, just fold the towel on top and just kind of press out some of the excess moisture then all I did was the computer up again so you can see me here. And then we just let the design dry, just let it dry flat. If it if it needs to be adjusted, you can kind of move it around so it gets its shape just exactly the way you want it. You can press it just, just briefly with a you know relatively cool iron um, and get it to to lay nice and flat. But anyway, there you've got your design. This makes for a nice keychain. Uh, Freestanding lace is beautiful for Christmas ornaments. That's a, a really, really sweet thing that you can do with freestanding lace. You can also take lace, uh, like lace flowers. You can stitch them, for instance, on an undergarment, or you could stitch them on a t-shirt. You could stitch that on there. This one I put a little loop on because the intent was that it would be for a keychain or for a backpack or something like that. So that is it. Freestanding lace is so easy. Oh, but one of the most important things you need to know. Take note, this is white on the front and the back. And so you do want to match your bobbin thread to the top thread. Don't forget, that's really important. On my bookmark here, I've got white bobbin thread and then I even put pink top thread when I stitched the back side. I changed the bobbin thread to match the pink top thread. So that's, that's an important thing. All right, friends, have a great day. Try freestanding lace. If you haven't tried it, just just give it a whirl because it's it's fun, it's quick, it's easy, and it's just it's just a great project. So once you're done, you're done. And there's all kinds of cute things that you can make with freestanding lace. All right, thanks. I will see you again soon. Bye bye now.